You're watching the Arsenal Vodcast. Andy Carroll scored the only goal as Newcastle beat Arsenal on Sunday and Arsene Wenger blamed his side's defeat on a number of factors. It was a case of some players coming back from injury, some players uh, having played midweek and uh, all together uh, playing a good side as well and uh, being one nil down just before half time. Lucas Fabianski has had his ups and downs as Arsenal keeper, but Wenger believes the Poles' natural talent will come out as he relaxes on the pitch. We asked Fabianski what he thought. Everything comes with the, I think, as well with the experience. Yeah, if you play regularly, if you play, you know, different type of game like like Premier League, Champions League, even Carling Cup, uh, for sure you're gonna. Uh, let's say relax more and you're getting used to more to the atmosphere of the game, you're getting used to, to the even to the playing the game, yeah. That's the that's the you know really important thing for the goalkeeper. So um yeah I'm ha happy to, to be playing and uh you know just want to be focused on my job and and try to think try to think stay positive and then uh, keep playing as best as I can. Fans from afar, we take time out to meet Arsenal fans from all corners of the globe. Today, two people separated by over 10,000 kilometres and the Pacific Ocean take centre stage. I'm from South Korea, first of all, and um, the reason why I support Arsenal is, you know, actually it's not, it, at first it was not our team because Dennis Bergkamp, he was my favourite player, so I got to know this team and uh, I, like, for the last 10 years, more than 10 years, I, I watched these teams play performance so it's quite like you know they make beautiful football not like other Chelsea's long ball or Bolton's long ball you know like that so that is why I support this team and I also like uh, the, ma the manager's his policy that he always always making young he gives ch I mean give ch chances for the young players so that's why I really like Arsenal. I'm from Montreal, Canada, and uh, support for Arsenal is uh, growing in Canada. Uh, right now our supporters club is relatively small. But it's getting bigger and bigger and we're trying to get the word around uh, how great our, our club is. So we're quite excited with that. Funny enough, I met my wife, she's a Norwegian, and uh, her family, her brothers and sister uh, support Liverpool and uh, Arsenal. They had French players, I'm a French person, and uh, especially it's the style of play really that, uh, that really took attention for me. Uh, I'm a hockey player, everything is fast paced and that's what Arsenal is, fast paced, exciting football and uh, that's what really got me. And it was around the year of the Invincibles so it was really interesting. Given the distance and the cultural difference between the two countries, it comes as no surprise that match day routines are also in complete contrast. Early morning games, okay, on the west coast uh, you'll have four, four o'clock in the morning kickoffs. Uh, so it's very difficult for them to get together but in Montreal it's five hours behind so it's a lot easier to get together uh, with some friends. Games are at 10 o'clock in the morning so uh, for the drinkers it's a little bit rough but uh, hey you know a, a true fan that supports their team and uh, so there's interest people get together in bars and they open it up uh, early in the morning. On the match day well you know you know because of the time zone it's like almost uh, early in the morning like four o'clock or three o'clock in the morning so so, well, anyway, it's during the weekend, so many, many young people, usually young people, order like chickens or pizza on, on, at their home and they watch it through the TV. For Jacques Constantinou, head of the Canadian Supporters Club, trying to make waves in the crowded North American sports market is full of challenges. People support the different leagues, there's a lot of different cultures. Uh, the French and English culture, as a rule, I don't know much about football at this point, so uh, it's getting the word out, it's, it's uh, knowing what the sport is, it's uh, getting to know the players, getting to know the different teams, and uh, that's where we're working really hard to, for Arsenal to be one of the teams that gets known most, and, and it's an easy sell in a way, because once you see an Arsenal play, you know that, hey, this is a great team, so it's, it's an easy sell. The membership over the last couple of years has grown about 20 to 30 percent. So it's still obviously not like uh, here in England or in the big uh, Scandinavian countries or whatnot, but uh, we're doing our best there, so it's growing.